garden rose Sun stops being down Will you stay Oh, Ryan stops If he stops coming round Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I left you for about a month there. We just had like the busiest month I think we've maybe ever had. So just to give you a really simple update, we have sold all of our possessions. Our house is empty. In the past two months we've sold all of our furniture, minus this mattress that I'm sitting on, and a couple of camping chairs downstairs. I've still got my desk because I'm still working, so that'll have to be like a last minute thing that we get rid of. Everything else is gone. It was a more overwhelming experience than I ever imagined it would be. Just if you can imagine picking up every single thing you've ever purchased or brought into your home and deciding whether it was useful enough that you wanted to have it in your tiny house or sentimental enough that you wanted to keep it with family or try and get rid of it responsibly, whether that be secondhand furniture shops and charity shops or selling it online. And it was a huge task and quite overwhelming to just be that up close and personal with all of your possessions and all of your purchases and all of your consumption just really visible in front of you. So I'm really glad that process is over. It was very exhausting. And now it feels very satisfying and exciting to be living with so little and realizing how little you need. Yeah, I'm really ready to live a very minimalist life. This video was gonna be a more exciting one where I was gonna show you a practice work day in the van. And I think that video will still come, but it's not today's video. Today's video is just a quick little chat and announcement that my Etsy shop is gonna be opening right now. If you go down into the description of this video, you'll find a link. I'm really excited to be launching a shop sale. There hasn't been one for such a long time. And I thought I would just quickly talk you through some of the things that are gonna be available. So first up, we have some stickers. These aren't all of the stickers, this is just like a little example of some of them. I'm going to be selling a lot of them individually because they are kind of big stickers, like some of the biggest stickers I've ever made. Um, and uh, yeah, some of them will come in like packs of twos or threes. Also selling a little bit of stationery, got a couple of different styles of notebooks. Also selling a recipe card. This is the only one I've made so far, but I do plan to make more. This is my own recipe on the back and then my illustrations on the front. I'm hoping to create more for Christmas time, but I can't promise that, you know. We're about to have a huge life change and I'm not sure what that's going to entail. I'm also going to be selling original artwork. So selling some really recent paintings, some of my most recent personal work. So these are a couple of paintings I'll be selling from my calendar. And then the last thing is kind of exciting and I'm looking forward to your response to these items. This was actually a suggestion, I think from one of my patrons. So if it was you, could you leave me a comment and let me know? Cause thank you so much. It was such a good suggestion. Cause I have a lot of work. Obviously I work as a commercial illustrator. So there's so many paintings just in drawers and boxes and I just needed to do a huge clear out. So what I've decided to do is make mystery bags and they're gonna come in three different sizes. There's a small, there's a medium, and there's a large. And these mystery packages are gonna contain at least four illustrations, four original pieces of artwork. Most have more than that, most have five or six. And it's gonna be a real mix of work and you're not gonna know what you're gonna get. A lot of it is quite nature-based, so there's lots of plants and trees and animals, of course, lots of animals. There's a lot of food illustration. There's some people and there's some places and there's some things. It's kind of like a little potluck. You find out what, what you get when you open it up. Some of these are gonna be like paintings that you might want to frame or give to friends or family and hang on your wall. And then some of them are more like little pieces of ephemera. They've been individually cut out and you might want to put them on sketchbooks or notebooks or just use them as little inspiration pieces, maybe like to decorate your desk or something. Craig and I had fun um, arranging all of those, got quite a lot of mystery bags to go out. So um, I really hope you like that idea. Oh, I'm also gonna be selling um, a couple of different large prints, they're A3, so if you want a print from me, go get one, because I don't know when I'm next gonna be doing 
prints, especially not large prints. I really hope you enjoy this shop launch and that you find something you like. And thank you in advance to everyone who makes a purchase and supports my work. I'm hoping now that the kind of really hectic and grueling part of downsizing is over. I'll be able to make more YouTube videos. I do have a plan to make more. I never intended to like say I was back and then go away for a month. <laughs> But uh, that's, I think that's just like a testament to how busy it's been. I did film some clips of us clearing everything out, clearing through my wardrobe and bringing all of our furniture down and getting it out of the door. <laughs> it was a very like mentally taxing task to do because it just made me think about how we consume as a society and the products that we're offered and how wasteful they really are when it comes to trying to dispose of them or pass them on as responsibly as possible you realise like the, the by far the easiest thing to do is just chuck them all in landfill and the temptation to do that is there and it just made me think about like how much privilege we have to have had the time to just go through everything methodically and, and try our very best to get rid of things responsibly and how everyone with privilege needs to do that more, needs to be thinking about their consumption more. I did find it quite a guilt inducing experience to look at everything I've ever purchased and all the things that I'm responsible for. Much of it is probably going to end up in landfill eventually, um, even though we tried quite hard not to have that as the eventuality, I'm sure that it will. Um, <clears throat> it's just the world we live in. On the other end of the spectrum, our waste is really nothing in comparison to billionaires, is it really? Our carbon emissions are tiny and we can make as many micro consumer changes as we can but it's going to be a drop in the ocean when we have billionaires taking like 15 minute flights on their private jets for example so it really made me think about those kind of things and it made me realize that some of my guilt is unnecessary because there are bigger fights and it's not all my fault that society is set up in this wasteful way um, where you're incentivized to waste and consume more and not consider the outcome of that i wanted to say that in a much more coherent way but I can't do that right now. Maybe I'll continue that conversation at another time and if you have anything to add to it, I'd love to read your comments. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this new life now. Uh, it feels very satisfying to be done and to have such a minimal house. Yeah, it's been really nice to detach from possessions and to let them go and I haven't felt any kind of sadness or regret about letting things go at all. I feel lighter and, and, and happy and at peace with it, so yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed this video this little chat and i hope you enjoy the shop launch and finding things that you like and thank you in advance to everyone who makes a purchase in my shop and supports my work i really appreciate it and always thank you to my patrons new and old i've had um a lot of new patrons lately which is really nice so i hope you enjoy watching the content over there i'll see you again soon hopefully sooner than the gap between the last video and this one but um yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.